Alright, well, hello everyone. There. So, I decided I want to do this live little, you know, tea and chat. Now, I have been obsessed with David's Teas. Ever since I watched the Ballinger, fam Ballinger Family, uh, the mother was, it was an old episode, old uh, YouTube show whenever they were up in Canada, and she was trying David's Tea. And she was like, oh my god, it smells so good, and then it tastes like it smells. I'm like, I gotta try this. And I've never been one for, for loose leaf tea. I'm from Texas. What we do is we have sweet tea. Really, really sweet tea. That's what we do. So I was like, you know what? You know, let me let me try some of this loose leaf tea and see how it goes. So I got myself a teapot, you know, got a few samples, and I got a cup. But anyway, so what I'm going to be doing tonight is just kind of showing you my stuff. I'm going to be putting tea inside of canisters because I got a new box in today. And um, what I have found is that I like the ritual of boiling the water. I like the ritual of measuring out the tea, putting it in, letting it steep, getting things ready, and then just kind of hanging out for a minute, you know, and slowing down. Um, even whenever I'm drinking the black teas, which I love, the oolong and black teas, those are like my favorite so far. But like I said, I'm from Texas, so black tea is like the thing. But you know, we, we find out different stuff. So for today in my new box, I have a cup of tea. This is my the box for my new um, ceramic cup. Comes with a steeper and everything, and um, it's fabulous. Let me tell you, it's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, so I've already taken this guy out. So I'll let you take a look at that. I got him on sale for I forgot how much I got him on sale for. He was whatever he was, and I got him on sale for half price because it's a semi annual sale and everything. So like, why not? And I love the color. And I broke the glass steeper on my um, glass Nordic mug, which you can't get that one anymore. But I still have the mug, so yay. So here we go. So here's the teacup here. This is what it looks like. It's got a lovely seal. Has some pretty little gold stars in there and snow and stuff like that. And he's holding his little star. To me, it kind of looks like a little teacup, you know, or whatever. My tea of gold. And there's the other little seal there, just chilling, hanging out. And this guy over here, so this is the ceramic steeper. It's very lovely. And it's flat. So I can place my steeper on there. And so here we go. Now, look at that. So pretty. It's fine mesh and everything. You'll get a little bit of stuff in there, but it's like only the stuff that's like ground up. And so I put this guy over here. And I'll show you what that looks like on my little uh, saucer thing. So there you go. There you go. All nice and neat. Except in my thumb. So that's the only thing that's really a mess. So now, got that. And let me kind of stand this up a little bit. Oh, there you go. That works out better. So anyway, so I have my nice little cup of tea. And I'll show you what that is. And what I did was... This one, all my chocolate ones, I'm putting in these canisters. So it's just like the cup, except it's in a canister. Because so, I, I love the color. But, um, so I have chocolate almond in this one. And I'm telling you, I'm fascinated with the chocolate ones. I don't feel like having a chocolate or sweets. This one's the one I'm drinking today, which is the chocolate... Is it going to do the thing? Choco... Chaco Chaga Detox. Uh, yeah, stuff. Uh, you can go online to find out what's in it. You know, I believe it has some kind of mushroom in there too for a part of the detox. I believe I've done a review on this particular tea. But anyway, so that's what I'm drinking tonight. And then I've got um, the chocolate covered almond, which is fantastic right now. I only have two ounces in here. I'm thinking, oh yeah, it'll be. Oh, I love it. It's fabulous. Oh, it'll be fine. And I'm wrong. So wrong. I have more chocolate coming in, but I don't think I got those. I think I got some new ones. So let me try it. Oh, so good. Oh, and what I do is I use the sugar in the raw, the turbinado. I got that old package of that, um, a box of it from the 99 cent store. So that was pretty cool. Good stuff. That one's unopened. I've already put one in here. So, And this is my, my perfect teaspoon right here. So you get one to two of those little spoons, and there you go. It's the perfect size. 
Okay, so, chatting. I just recently had my birthday this past Thursday, and I had teeth ripped out, three on this side, two on this side, and along with that, they had to do a bone grafting here to get the bone density stronger. And then I've got implants, the titanium screws right in here. Dude, let me tell you. I thought, I was like, I, now I know what a car feels like when it's being worked on. Because it came in with a drill and drilled into my bone. Then they came in with the hammer and hammered on my bone. And then they came in with this crank, you know, tool and stuff and cranked on my teeth. Um, I've got some kind of plastic uh, caps over on the top of it. I can't feel. Um, I also put my tongue on it, but I've got like stitches over there and stuff. But anyway, it's crazy, man. It's just crazy. I was like, oh my god. I thought I was going to die. And I was on nitrix and everything to try to keep me calm. Because they weren't going to give it to me. I'm like, I need this. I'm volunteering for this, but I need this. And so when they came in and they were digging down in, I could feel stuff down here. You know, and it scared me. I mean, it really did. The vibration was scary, but feeling something down here, that would that worried me a bit because Novocaine um, runs through me so quick. You know, with that high adrenaline, stuff like that, it just it just runs through you like nobody's business. But anyway, so I got through it. Um, I got a little swelling down here. Not a whole lot, but it was worse earlier. But I've been taking liquid Motrin, 200 milligram uh, gel caps. Start out with six this morning because um, it was pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty sore. Didn't have any sharp pain, but it was pretty sore, especially around here. Um. So uh, so I started with six. My next bout was four, and now I'm just on uh, well six pills. And then I went down to four pills, and now I'm down to two pills. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Pretty good. And I've been drinking this tea and everything. This black tea. And it actually helps with clotting and um, stuff like that. And then there's also this uh, smoothie I've been taking. Alright, this green smoothie. And it had like some kind of, I forgot what it was called. But anyway, there was this leaf I'd never heard of before. And so I looked it up. And it's at, it does a lot of different things. It has um, antioxidants. It's good for anti-inflammatory. It's good for uh, cell, t cell, cell, cell tissue regeneration and bone growth. Okay, supporting in bone growth. So I was like, wow. So that was pretty good. I wasn't able, today was my first time uh, taking a smoothie since Thursday. So I was like, so I've been drinking a smoothie for like a week. So I think that kind of helped my cells and everything. So there you go. Anyway, let's get to the next thing here. So this is one of the promotional um, tins right now. So you get four ounces of regular tea, regular price tea, no discounts. Then, which this guy is two ounces right here. He's not full. This guy is two ounces. He's full. So you'll get two bags of this. And this will fill this up to four ounces right here. As a matter of fact, okay. Um, you'll get one of these tea, one of these tins. Now, when they first did this, they didn't have it advertised yet, and I didn't know about it because I just, I needed some uh, some more tins, and so I had gotten two of these guys. So I got the mug and I got a couple of tins, and I ordered two. And what had happened was they gave me a silver tin, which is what they would normally give you as complimentary, and they gave me a promotional tin. You can't do that now. They caught on to that in a minute. They're like, wait a minute, <laughs> these people were getting four tins instead of two tins. So I don't think it's gonna break their bank but whatever so this guy here is the Caribbean it's called Caribbean black and I got this from a coffee and tea store that also sells jewelry and other stuff like that but anyway it's kind of crazy but um, I got this store and this is three ounces of tea three three and a half ounces of tea and so this guy here it's a black tea because it says black but Oh my god, it smells like there might be mango in it, and um, maybe some orange or citrus. Just, I mean, it smells amazing. It smells like you're actually in the Caribbean, or some kind of tropical island or something, you know? So I'm like, fabulous. And I'm throwing this box away because I don't need it. So It transported my mug. Why do I need it anymore? If I was moving soon, then maybe I shouldn't have bought it yet. I don't know. Anyway. So I drank this stuff last night. I love this stuff. It's high in caffeine. It's black. I love it. Um, I didn't even need... I didn't... And it's, it's sweet, but it's not so sweet. 
So it's not real bitter either, as long as you don't put too much in it or you don't steep it for too long and it's fine. This stuff smells really good, it tastes really good, and I love it. And I like the little panda. So there's this guy. <laughs> so he's the only panda one I have, so I know which one he is, but I'm gonna have to get a marker or something and get these guys tapped out. Now I tried the mulled wine and it's so good. Oh my gosh. It is, it's interesting, I'll tell you that. It's very fruity and flavorful. So that's what he looks like right there. Mm -hmm. And it's got nuts, it's got fruits in there, stuff like that. So he's more, and uh, with a, it's called like a warming uh, spice orange or something like that. And it's nice, it really is, it's nice. That's more of like an infusion than it is a tea. And then what else we got here? So did that one, did that one. Then there's this guy. Now this one's Santa's Secret Black Tea. And I saw a review on this and I was like, I have to get a lot of this. I got six ounces of this guy, but he was on sale, I think for either $4.99 or $3.99, something like that. It wasn't like a whole lot. I think I spent maybe an average $20. We're gonna say five bucks a thing. But um, but yeah, so I got Santa's Black Tea. So good, oh my gosh. Look at that. Looking good, looking good. He's got like uh, peppermint sprinkles, black tea, and that's got like sugar and non, uh, well, that's partially hydrogenated and soybean oil. It's not the best idea ever, I'm gonna say. But anyway, so, gotta read the, uh, the ingredients on these guys. I was buying these before I read the ingredients, so I didn't make the best choices, but I'm still gonna drink it, so whatever. But this was a promotional little tin for, I think I got this for $3? It's like $2, $3 now, something like that. So got him. This one is the Snow Day. The regular tin or whatever I got for something else. Oh, that smells good. Look at that. Looks pretty good. This one has like peppermint leaves, cocoa beans, or cacao, I think. Cacao husk, chocolate drops, and it tells you what's in there. Uh, white chocolate pieces tells you what's in the white chocolate pieces and uh, sugar sprinkles cream flavoring peppermint oil natural chocolate and peppermint flavoring and contains milk so you can put some milk in this bad boy and you're good to go what else oh we have cold 911 I haven't drank this yet I have given samples to other people that to friends of mine and um, so they could uh, do that if they wanted to and then I've got let's see here this one has um, organic peppermint, apple, juniper berries, something different there, uh, with natural eucalyptus and orange flavoring. So this is a this is a, a, a strong smelling tea. Now, look at that. It smells <laughs> it smells like like Vicks because Vicks is made out of eucalyptus. I haven't drank this yet. Oh my, I'm waiting. If I really need to, just smelling it opens up the sinuses, let me tell you. So, I'm kind of afraid that if I drink this, it's going to taste like drinking Vicks. But, we'll find out, right? Red Velvet Cake. Um, I've had this one a little bit, and this is good. I gave my sister one of these, so. Oh, smells so good. Look at that. Looks like the Santa one, but it's not. Uh, this one has black tea, milk chocolate, tells you what's in there white chocolate um whey milk mono whatever sprinkles vanilla tells you a bunch of stuff in there so again read your ingredients so if you don't like this stuff then don't get it get something else or just don't buy from david c's i don't know whatever you want to do all right so now as i'm doing my my chatting and stuff like that i'm gonna come over here and start putting things into their tins like i was just doing with the other one. Ooh, i need a drink too look at this Mm. so good so good it tastes like a cordial cherry without all the sugar in it it's fantastic so this one is called movie night right here and movie night it has very simple it has apple green tea popped corn so you're gonna steep popcorn and uh, artificial flavors so again if you don't like artificial flavors don't get it so i don't tell you I'm gonna try it. I want my tea to taste good. So we're gonna see how it is. So put that down there. So I'm not gonna drink it right now, but I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna smell it. Because this, I paid regular price for this. So he gets his own little label, he gets his own little tin. Ooh, it smells good. 
Look at that. There's popped corn in there. So I have never steeped corn popcorn before. So when I when I do this, I'm gonna see how it is. I'm hoping that this will help cure my craving or curb my craving for uh for popcorn. Because popcorn gets caught in my teeth and right now I can't chew anything. Like my gums are raw on either side. I gotta drink everything. So I can't really chew anything. Otherwise it pops out stitches, causes bleeding, stuff like that. And that's no good, you know. I didn't do all this stuff just so it would uh, be horrible again, you know, and all that stuff. All right, so anyway, so this is, so I bought four ounces of this. This one has a few more popcorn kernels. So now we're gonna, hopefully this fits all the way in there. I mean, if it doesn't, I do still have, my bag is resealable. But anyway, so anyway, with my teeth being all taken out and stuff like that, I have had this entire week off. Um, this is also my birthday week, so I turned, most people go do stuff, you know, that's fun for the birthdays. Um, I don't. The last time I did something fun on my birthday was last year, and I had a party. The only reason why I had a party is because I was watching, uh, there was a co-worker who has this little boy, and I would watch him on, uh, Wednesdays. So last year, my birthday was on a Wednesday. And I was watching him, and I put together a party. I said, I want a party. I want a cake, you know, and stuff like that. So I don't care about presents or anything, but I want a cake, and I want a party, you know. And, and I want, you know, and I invited a few people. I didn't want to invite everyone because not everyone wants to go. And most people come in, all they're going to want to do is just come get your food and then leave, you know. It's like, I don't want all that. Oh, no thanks. Well, i got to reply to this right quick. My friend is being so awesome. She's getting me, um... Uh, she's getting me soup and stuff like that so I can eat stuff. So I was like, you know, I kind of really want some company. And I like the soup I have, but I really want some company and stuff like that. So she's going to grab me some soup. And I'm going to make her some tea and we're going to have a nice little chat. So there you go. So when she gets here, we'll be cutting this off. Um, but anyway, so this is movie night. That's what I got there. And what else do we have here? So, uh, so anyway, so I got my teeth ripped out and everything. I'm getting implants at uh, New Horizon Dental. I will tell you, it is it was interesting. I felt like I was a car, okay? I had drilling done, I had hammering done, and they had a, I kid you not, they had this little tool wrench, and they were wrenching on my, on my, my uh, titanium uh, screws. I was like, I was thinking to myself, oh my God, they had me on nitrix. They started me out at 50, and then they reduced me down to 30. And I was terrified, okay? The drilling was so bad that they kept having to dig down into your bone, because you have thick bone, right? And it started vibrating right here. I started feeling like pain right in here. I was like, oh my God. I mean, I was scared. I was scared shitless. Hard my language, but I was. Ah, uh, bear trap. All right, now we're going to get back to the tea here. Bear Trap. This is one of the new ones I got today. And so Bear Trap is um, is a, uh, it's not really a tea tea. It's more of a an herbal infusion or stuff like that. So it has hibiscus, elderberries, rosehip shells, apple, papaya, uh, lemon verbena, black currants, blueberries, strawberry leaves, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, Marcello cherries, and natural red fruit flavor. So no red dye, so that's good. Some of them do have red dyes, so I want to stay away from that. I tried to. I tried to. Like I said, I found out a little bit too late that I was supposed to be looking at the ingredients here for things other than, you know, the awesomeness that's in there. But, oh yeah, so it's called a fruit infusion. It's a fruit infusion. Not herbal, but fruit. So yeah, but it smells amazing. This is gonna be one of the teas I drink. I've got so much tea. But I've gotten to where I just really like tea, you know? So anyway, back to, back to my teeth. So my teeth and everything, so I did bone grafting here. That wasn't that bad. They had to scrape the bone, put some uh, gauze on it, or some kind of mesh stuff. And then they put the, um, the tissue or the gums over that 
so that it builds bone right there. So when I come back in about four months, long time, four months for these to heal. Four months I can get um, the the titanium uh, implants here. Four months I can get my um, porcelain teeth here. Once I get the porcelain implants here, then we're going to start on the top back teeth. The front, uh, I don't really need to do a whole lot for these. These seem to be okay. Maybe we're going to find out. Um, but if they're going bad too, then I'm going to get the, the, the front, the top front taken out. I'll get implants for these guys. And then eventually, um, I'll have these bottom ones taken out. Um, I don't need to right now. It seems to be okay. But I do have that gap in there. So I may want to go ahead and get these taken out down here. At least, at least this one. So I get, if I get the one straight tooth down there taken out, I can have one implant in there. There may be enough bone density down here that I won't need to have a graft. And they can just stick one implant in there and I'll have one tooth there. So anyway, that's an idea. Oh, look at that. I haven't been showing you. Looks good. Looks good. I can't wait to try it. It's just there are so many. But right now, I, I just want certain ones because of my teeth and stuff. But that's good. And let's see here. What else do we have? So, I have one more uh, tea container. So, this is part of the promotional tea container. So, you get four ounces, you'll get one of these. So, is this one the panda and then sloth? Um, I don't have this one dedicated yet, so we're going to find out which one we're going to put in there. Now, with these guys, they gave me the labels. I wrote an email to see if I could get more labels to put on my cantons. They haven't written me back, so I'm pretty sure I can't, which kind of sucks, but whatever, dude. So now, what i got to do is, I've got to decide what I want to put in here. I've got rhubarb strawberry cream, which, uh, cream soda, which I'm kind of excited to try that one. I've got sleigh ride. So, these are, the yellow ones are all fruit infusions. What else do I have? Caramel shortbread. I think I'll put caramel shortbread in here. Now, it is a fruit infusion. Let's see what's in here. So, it has um, apple, raisins, brown sugar, elderberries, willow bark, almonds, hazelnuts, sour cherries, raspberries, stevia extract, natural and artificial almond and hazelnut flavorings. Contains almonds and hazelnuts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. Okay. So, I'm going to try to take this off like this guy down. Where's that? Like this guy down here. Now, it's not pretty, but it works for now. You know, I mean... Who else is going to see it but me, right? Nobody. No one's going to see that but me. So anyway, so there's that. And uh, I've been kind of going through a few things and stuff since I've been gone. But uh, I will tell you this. My birthday was not, wasn't like the best ever. But you know what? I made it through. My friend Matt was with me. And that was pretty awesome. I mean, he was there with me the whole time. He could have worked that day, made some money. But he said, you know, if you can you can possibly get someone else, Michelle needs me. And he was there. He went up there with me and went to Cold Stone. And we got Cold Stone and stuff. And we uh, we paid for our own, which that was kind of cool. I don't have uh, a thing here, so I'm going to have to peel this off a bit. Uh, it's not going to be very pretty. So I don't have my, um, I have my scissors over here. That sucks. Oh, well. It's a good thing this guy can come off fairly easy, I think. But, um, so he was there with me, you know, and he saw all those other people there and stuff, and so that was kind of cool. And my friend's here, so now I'm going to go ahead and shut you off, but anyone who watches this later, thanks for watching. If you don't, that's cool, too. Don't really care, but hey, you know what? I felt like having just a nice little chat, you know, while doing stuff. I might do more of these, just because. Anyway, peace out. And see you later, guys.